Now let me show you how I make the balls, ornaments, baubles, whatever you call it. First you need string and the pattern. Then you knot this. After that, you want to make a turn because you need this. What you do is not this mirrored from there. This is the same as this, only mirrored. Then You need to end in a diagonal line, just like you started. Then you have to make this come together. You connect this. And that's my dog in the background. He doesn't like me explaining. And then you end up with this. Once you've made, once you've made some of these, two, three, or four, you can connect them. Then you stitch them together <coughs> like this. So now with the dog in another room. I hope I can get you something done here. Um, this is what you want to achieve. I'll show you a little bit how you get from there to there to the, there. And then it's only stitching together. So you need to find a pattern that has uh, a string on the short side that doesn't make any knots you can add uh, a straight border yourself or just add the string in the border knots inside the border knots now you start in the diagonal line then you knot a uh, short part and then you end in the opposite diagonal line then You've done all of that in that direction. And now we're going to change that and go this way. Now we're going to mirror. So the green, need to zoom in a bit. Start with the green. Like this. Everything mirrored from what you had. That's all there is to it. Now it'll take some time, so I'll not show you the full pattern. You can choose your own pattern, so it doesn't really make a difference uh, which pattern you choose. The only thing that's important is that one core string that you need in the end to give it the shape that you want. So that's the idea of making the corner. And then you need to go on till you end with the same diagonal line. Then we're going to show a bit of the rest of it. 
And once you have this, you want it to change into this. So, is it visible? Yes. I hope so. Clip it a bit higher. Now it's too high. <laughs> We're going to take the first string, including the core string. Let's see. We want to have that a green knot. We have some green here. We fold this over. Some green there. So we're going to make a backward forward knot. See, and then you can pull this a bit, you can pull it later. We're doing the same on that side. And then we are going to Make it a forward, backward knot. Now you can pull these right now or in the end, but this is the idea. I'll show you a little bit more, but it depends on the pattern, which string you take, which color you take. The easiest way is just always take one string from the left, one string from the right, just like I'm doing now. And then you take this string and you knot, you can call it a forward knot or and not downwards. This one will be a backward then. Close to the knot above. And then you can pull this again. This is the idea. Did I make the right knot? Ha! Ah, I didn't make the right knot here. So. No, I'll fix that later, but this is the idea. You just take one string from one side, one from the other, and I followed the colors that were in the pattern. Then you pull everything together. You fold it over like this, back side. And then you can Pull a bit again, leave out that one at first, and then you can pull the others and make a tight knot. Uh, you can put a little bit of glue on it. Don't know if it's necessary, but I did. That's the idea. That's how you make this shape. And then when you have two or three or four of these, you can put them back to back <coughs> like this. And then you take a needle and a string and you put your needle, I'll find one, the sharp one. You put your needle in between two of these knots, same on the other side, and you can start stitching backward, forward, backward, forward, or two forward, two backwards, when you want a more zigzaggy line, like I did here. And that's, uh, that's the whole idea of stitching it together. 
this one has two parts but you can also make it with uh, three or four then the shape will become a little bit different so that's about it that's uh, how you make something like this Now, there is another way you can make about the same, but without having to stitch anything. So, this is the same pattern, same idea, different colors, same pattern. You can make that, or and stitch it, or you can make this with two, three, like this, or four parts. You see, this is basically the same. This is what we stitched together in the other one. But as you can see, you can also already have it together while knotting. So this is another way of making the same. If you do it like, like this, you end in a chiffron-like way pointy not diagonal and you knot this together this and then you take the next and this diagonal goes to this diagonal so if I if you wrote a bit like this this will be together This will be together and this will be together and then you have an ornament with three parts. Same idea, no stitching. So now I have stitched part of this together and I still have access to the inside which is nice because I still haven't done anything with these core strings as you can see compared to this one it looks much different and that's not only because this one needed stitching and this one didn't. This one I already pulled the core string. So that's how you make the shape different, more round. In this one I also uh, closed it almost. So I still have access to these core strings here. But when I close this one, I can only access the inside from the holes, through the holes. So that's the disadvantage of not stitching. So um, it's your own choice, your own preference, if you want to do it without or with the stitching, but it has some advantages if you don't uh, if you do it, the stitching so now you can pull to alter the shape see and then it's already a bit more like the other one that's the idea and then when you think this is how tight I want to have it. Then you can knot the core string together on the inside, just like the other strings. See, this is the difference. This is without the pulling, and this is with the pulling. So I think it's a lot nicer. If you pull it. So let's fully close this. 
and then uh, it's finished so here are four finished ornaments this one two parts this one same pattern same colors only other uh, color for the stitching, three parts. This one, same pattern, different colors, no stitching. And this one, also same pattern, four parts, stitched together with white. So that's about the difference. I uh, like to block my ornaments after I made them. So the um, shape will become more th smooth, smooth, especially this one. It helped a lot to make it like it is now. For some patterns, it's not necessary. It didn't block this one, for example. I blocked this one, but the color was bleeding. So take care, watch out for the darker colors. Test them before blocking. I didn't. So I didn't block this one and it's fine. I blocked this one and this one uh, is yet to be blocked. So it's possible without. It's a little bit smoother with. And blocking is just soaking in a bit of warm water and then um, pulling it in shape and after that let it dry. So that's it, all finished.